All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday morning, getting ready for the uh, Men Against Breast Cancer Classic here this weekend. Uh, three games in three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, for for a really good cause, obviously, uh, something that touches everyone. Uh, and uh, should be three really good games against three very, very good uh, mid-major basketball teams and basketball programs. Start, start out here talking a little bit about our home opener uh, against Malone. Uh, you know, we did not obviously play the way we played Friday, uh, Saturday night at Youngstown State. Uh, but that's sort of why you play these, these games early. Uh, it's the first time we've played at home. Some teams play scrimmages. Uh, against Division Two or Division Three teams, we we chose to play. I'm sorry, some teams play exhibition games against Division Two or Division Three teams to get an opportunity to play at home uh, under the lights. And uh, what we do is we play these closed scrimmages. So you know, hopefully we got our first game jitters out. That's my expectation. And uh, you know, we we played the second half. We we beat them 40 to 22 in the second half and really didn't play very well in the second half either. So had we just done that for two halves, uh, it would have been an ugly 80 to 44 win. Uh, but obviously that didn't happen. And that's what we have to learn from is, uh, you know, moving forward, we can't play a half a basketball the way we did to open up this game uh, Tuesday night at home. So we watched film yesterday. Uh, we, we are starting to prepare here for this weekend uh, and, and now we have an opportunity to, to play against a really, really good Southern Illinois team uh, from the Missouri Valley, a league that's, you know, comparable, maybe better than ours uh, with Wichita State, who's a, who's a national program, and some very good teams uh, like Southern Illinois, uh, who was 500 in their league and has an all-conference player returning and uh, has some very good young players. So we're looking forward to that challenge Friday, uh, Saturday, UIC. Who is a junior college All-American and, and some good players that we're looking forward to. And, and then Sunday against Yale University, uh, who has a mid-major All-American in Justin Sears and is coached by one of my closest friends in, in college basketball, James Jones, who I worked as a student assistant at SUNY Albany 20, uh, 22 years ago. I'm dating myself now uh, while he was an assistant coach there at Yale. So Great opportunity for us. I'm looking forward to seeing James and his team, uh, the two teams that we play prior in uh, Southern Illinois and UIC are going to be great, great games. They're double headers each night. Uh, it's a great opportunity, a great cause. And if you like college basketball, if you like mid-major basketball, if you want to see some under the radar players and teams that are going to make noise in their league come uh, Mar uh, February and March, uh, this is a great weekend to be here at Kent State. I uh, appreciate the athletic department allowing us to host it, uh, Men Against Breast Cancer, uh, for sponsoring it and some of the sponsors that we have for this organization and for this event. And uh, you'll see us Friday night and we'll, we'll, we'll certainly come out with the intensity and, and, and togetherness that we need uh, moving forward and that we saw in games leading up to, uh, to, to Tuesday's game. So we're 2-0. And uh, here we go this weekend with three games in three days and get a great opportunity to see what our, our team uh, this year is going to be about. Hope to see you Friday night and, uh, and go Flashes.